Hello, this is Brad Tallis with NextGen Solutions, and welcome to this week's Fusion Friday. On today's video, I'm going to be talking about a useful and powerful command called reanchor. So let's take a look to see how to use it. So in this example, you can see that I have an imported model. It has no uh, timeline or history attached to it, and I want to make some changes to this. So for example, this pocket, I want to uh, make it a little bit deeper. And if I measure uh, this edge here, that we, we can see it's 0.1969 in length. And I want that to be a quarter inch deep pocket. So typically, what you would have to do is do some math. You know, take 0.25 minus 0.1969 and get that result. And then you would come in here and do a press pull or an offset, and then you would have to offset it whatever that result was. Well, I'm going to show you a cool tip. So if I click on these three little dots next to the distance, there is a command in here called reanchor. I'm going to go ahead and select that, and then I can select a reference face. So I'm going to pick this top face, and now the measurement is happening from this top face. In fact, if I drag this up, you'll see we're almost at zero, right? So it's measuring from up here now instead of where the face originally was. So I can type in minus 0.25. I'll say OK. Let's go ahead and measure that edge. And sure enough, we can see that the length is 0.25. So let's do that again. I'll go ahead and measure the thickness of this part. So I'll pick that top face and this bottom face. We can see it's 0.7874. And maybe I want it to be exactly 0.75. So I'll go ahead and press pull on that face. I'll click the three little dots and say re-anchor. And let's go ahead and select this top face. And you can see it puts in that measurement. And I can come in and say, I want that to be 0.75. And you can see it moved just a little bit. If I hold down the control key, it shows the original. And if I let go, it shows the new. I'll say OK. And just to verify, we can measure those two faces again. And sure enough, it's 0.75. You can also use it to move geometry. So for example, I want this hole to be a specific distance from this wall. So if I were to measure from here to here, we can see it's 0.7874. I'll come in here and say move, faces, and I'm just going to draw a selection box around all of these faces. And then I'll just start to drag, and you can see it's going to move all of those faces. Well, I want this circle to be half an inch from that wall, so I'll just click on the re-anchor, click on that face, and now I can come in and say I want that to be 0.5. And you can see that that hole moved over. And if we inspect from the cylinder to that wall, we can see that it is now 0.5 inches. So the re-anchor command is very useful and very powerful. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, all I ask is that you give the video a thumbs up and share or repost the video with others in your network. This will help spread the knowledge of Fusion out to the community. If you have any comments or ideas for future topics, please reach out to me at bradtallis at nextgensolutions.com and I look forward to seeing you on the next Fusion Friday.